Assalamu alaikum everyone. Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to hundreds of unique lectures for free. Today I teach you the biology class 9 chapter number 1. First of all, we are discuss the careers in biology. Biology is a such subject that has many branches of which we can choose any field. Like the first is medicine and surgery, agriculture, then so on. Medicine, uh, medicines and surgery mein medicine deal karti hai, diagnose karti hai, and treatment of disease kisi bhi disease ki treatment karti hai aur surgery mein kya hota hai ki koi bhi cheez kis tarike se repair ho rahi hai ya replacement karte hain ya usme removal karte hain un cheezon ki jo affected organ hai jo kharab ho chuke hain organ next uh, is ki field hai agriculture ये डील करता है प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वेरियस क्रॉप्स कितने सारे क्रॉप्स होते हैं उनमें कितने सारे वैरायटीज होती हैं क्रॉप्स की जैसे फ्रूट्स हैं वेजिटेबल्स होते हैं कैश क्रॉप्स होते हैं डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स होते हैं इन सब के बारे में ये डील करता है एग्रीकल्चर के फील्ड के अंदर पाकिस्तान बीइंग एन एग्रीकल्चर कंट्री इट कैन प्ले अ वाइटल रोल पाकिस्तान जो है वो एक एग्रीकल्चरल कंट्री है और ये एक अहम किरदार अदा करता है Next way, this is horticulture. This is the part of agriculture agriculture in which work is carried out from the particular development of new varieties of plants and their products. In which way it is working on them. This is part of horticulture. The next step is forestry. Forestry is part of forest are a source of biodiversity of plants and animals. Forest is part of forest that is a biodiversity source of plants and animals. Many kinds which live there जो इधर रहते हैं। It is very important in development of new forest as well as preservation of existing ones. ये important development होती है इसके अंदर new forest की और इसके अंदर preserve कर सकते हैं existing ones जो गुजर चुके हैं उन चीजों को हम preserve करके रख सकते हैं। Next है farming. In this profession, the development of different kinds of farms take place such as fish farm, cattle farm, poultry farm, etc. New technologies are used for the production of animals as a source of meat and milk, leather, wool, etc. Now, second is uh, animal husbandry. This profession is a part of agriculture science. It deals with the care and breeding of animals which are beneficial for men. Now, second last is fisheries. This profession deals with increased qualities and quality of fish production. Fish is one of the best source of protein. And the last field is biotechnology. It is very important and sensitive professions because it in which deals with the manipulations of gene to produce the valuable chemical products such as insulin, growth hormones, interferons, etc. from bacteria as well as others. Now next topic is the level of organization. हम इसमें क्या पढ़ते हैं कि किस तरीके से हम लोग को ऑर्गेनाइज किया गया है सबसे पहले एटम होता है एटम से मॉलिक्यूल्स बनते हैं मॉलिक्यूल से मैक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स बनते हैं फिर एक सेल बनता है सेल से टिश्यूज की फॉर्मेशन होती है फिर एक ऑर्गन बनता है फिर एक ऑर्गन सिस्टम बनता है फिर एक ऑर्गेनिज्म बन जाता है सबसे पहले द लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन लिविंग वर्ल्ड आर बेस्ड ऑन केमिकल फाउंडेशन all living organisms are made up of cells and protoplasm of cells is the physical as well as chemical basis of life. These levels are as follow. Number one is atomic level of organization, which is atoms ki formation. Hoti. All the matter is made up of elements, which is composed of atom. A means not, form means cut. Each atom is made up of subatomic particles such as electrons, protons and neutrons. In nature, there are more than 100 kinds of elements and among these 16 elements are called as bio-elements, which are vital for life. Only 6 elements such as carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus are called the basic elements of life. Now second level of organization is molecular level. Molecules are formed by the binding of atoms. These organic molecules of cells are called biomolecules. They are constructed in a great variety and complexity. They are classified as micromolecules and macromolecules. Glucose, amino acids and fatty acids are micromolecules which can not be seen by the naked eye and can be seen by the microscopes whereas carbohydrates, proteins and lipids are macromolecules. 
they units of micromolecules combine together and form a big mi- macromolecules now cellular level of organization is the third level the biomolecules when work together in the form of suspension it is called protoplasm protoplasm is a combination of organic and specific inorganic substance when protoplasm work in the form of unit this is called cell cell is a basic unit of living organism when similar type of cells organize together in a group called tissues the different types of tissues are arranged in a particular manner tend to work together are called organs organs of different types works in coordinate manner to perform a function is called organ system when different organ system function in coordination as in a unit they form a multicellular organism बेसिकली हम टेक्जोनमी के ब्रांच के अंदर वो चीज़ें पढ़ते हैं कि हमारे ऑर्गेनिज़म या एक ऑर्गेन या स्पीशीज़ किस तरीके से फॉर्म हुई है उनको कौन सी क्लास में रखा गया है उनका जीनस क्या है उनके सब्स ग्रुप क्या है बेसिकली एक क्लासिफिकेशन होती है तो ये सब चीज़ें पढ़ते हैं टेक्जोनमी में नाउ पॉपुलेशन लेवल ऑल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ अ स्पीशीज लिविंग इन अ स्पेसिफिक हैबिट is called populations a group of parrots living on a tree for example it's called parrot population now community level the members of different species living in the specific habit are called community for example a group of different kinds of birds living on a tree is called bird community ecological system communities is always depend upon their non living environment in a reciprocal interaction for their survival for example oxygen for respiration is obtained from environment and in turn gives out carbon dioxide this interaction is called ecosystem or ecological system now it is biosphere level the part of earth where life exist is called biosphere it consists of different kinds of ecosystem second is unicellular organization unicellular means a single cell organism which carried out the all the activities of life such as food respire excrete move etc they are the cellular basis of the simple methods example are unicellular organisms bacteria amoeba paramecium and eulina now multicellular organization in which the multicellular organisms they have uh, many cells for example frog and mustard plant now we discuss the example of the unicellular organism which is amoeba amoeba is found in the mud of the shallow pond pools at any stagnant water its size is about 0.25 mm amoeba has a irregular shape it has cell membrane which helps in the movement of molecules and protects cytoplasm the outer part of cytoplasm is clear and transparent called ectoplasm gel like structure and inner part is called endoplasm which is solid the cytoplasm contain nucleus food vacuoles mitochondria etc amoeba move by false food called pseudopodia here we see that the structure of amoeba which contains the fat particles droplets uh, mitochondria food vacuole nucleus uh, contractile vacuole endoplasm ectoplasm fissopod cell membrane lysozyme next example hai brassica campestris ki jisko commonly mustard plant bhi kehte hain ye paya jata hai sarsone ke andar it is a multicellular and cultivated in winter season the leaves of this plants are used as vegetables while seeds are used for oil extraction The length of this plant is 1 to 1.5 meter. This plant has two parts: the vegetative part which consists of root, stem and leaves and reproductive part which consists of flowers. Each flower is yellowish in color and produces seeds. Another example is Volvox. Volvox is polyphyletic. Genus of chlorophyte green algae in the family of Volcana. It forms spherical colonies of up to fifty thousand cells. They live in variety of freshwater habitats and were first reported by Antony Van Leeuwenhoek in seventeen hundred. Now, Volvox once called algae that live together in a colony. Each Volvox cell has two flagella. 
flagella beat together to roll the body in water. Volvox cells have chlorophyll and make their own food by photosynthesis. These photosynthesis organisms are as an important part of many aquatic ecosystem. Volvox are not harmful to human because they do not produce any toxic substance. Now the next topic is frog. Frog ko scientific name mein kehte hain Rana tigrina. Ye paya jata hai kisi bhi region mein. Jaise ek ye multicellular animal hai. Ye rehta hai both water mein bhi aur land mein bhi. Iski body divided do parts mein. Ek head aur ek trunk. There is no neck. Its body is made up of organ system with different organs. All organs are made up of different tissues se bane hai. Such as epithelial, glandular, muscular and nervous tissue etc. Frog lives near ditches, pools, ponds, stagnant stream and slow moving rivers. It feeds on the small insects ko hi khate hain. Hope you understand my video so please click on the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to comment and share my videos. Allah Hafiz.